we're gonna close the window. <laughs> okay. Mm, I I think it's been like three to four years since I've made slash like uploaded a video to YouTube. I'm currently in college. Whoa, crazy, because I started this when I was like a fetus in high school. I'm currently in my second year of college at UCLA. I'm gonna be finished. I'm like finishing my second quarter. And this quarter has been very bland for me and I, I say that because like I'm not taking any classes that are necessarily my major um they're just kind of classes I need to take which is interesting because two of them are for my major it's psych 100a but that's a stats it's basically a stats class it's just like an intro to statistics if you want to do research in psychology I don't know why it's a prereq but okay then I'm in French 1 and then I'm also in, oh, I'm in a philosophy writing class. I'm not the hugest fan of philosophy. People would assume I am because I'm in psychology. I don't, that's just not true. But I've been thinking a lot about how, damn near like all my life, I was involved in making or creating something artistic and because like since kindergarten all throughout till I graduated, I took like an art class every single day of my life at school, but like I loved it. And I used to play piano and I used to love to sing and I used to write and write poetry. And lately I've just kind of been like, where is Maya? Because like she's not here. I've like grown a lot and it's been really cool. And I've been focusing on school and like transitioning into like the Los Angeles lifestyle. Not that I have. I've just been like thinking a lot about the things I used to do that made me happy, it's, um, especially since like school is not super occupying my life right now. Who knows, it will probably next quarter because I'm planning to take four classes, three of which are psych uppered so. <laughs> I was like, I used to make YouTube videos and like it literally was just like a thought in my mind. I was like, what if I brought that back? I never really thought further than that. I was just like, what if I brought it back? I made it into story. It was like the first time that I did that like ask me a question type of thing. And I was just like, I said, talk to me. Or I was like, tell me something. And people were responding. And then one person from my high school actually was like, do you still make YouTube videos? I had like so many people respond to that on my story saying like bring back the channel like you should make youtube videos again like do it and not that i was like anything great <laughs> i was actually pretty cringy but i leave those videos up because it was a part of my high school experience and it was like really important to me at the time and i like met a lot of amazing people through the youtube community like globally it was like really really cool um so i'm embarrassed but i'm not ashamed still like carry that same message in me of like self-love and like mental health that's kind of what my channel would be today i just i guess i'm like a little bit older um a little bit wiser and <laughs> just a lot less cringy basically this is like a quick intro back into my channel um if you have any ideas of videos you want me to do i'm planning to like stick with a similar theme as like my last channel and that's mainly makeup skincare but like especially about mental health I don't want to say happiness because like that's cheesy and I don't want to front like I am the happiest person ever or have the most stable mental health but how to cultivate happiness in your everyday life and your relationships with people yeah it's just gonna be a really positive channel i'm getting really excited right now in this moment i do just want to say like a big reason why i stopped making youtube videos was because i was like hyper focusing on school it was like my dream and goal all my life to get into a really good college and now that i'm here i'm kind of like oh, okay so like what's next i have an idea of what i want to do with psychology um and i'm planning to double now with gender studies so that's really exciting um but hobbies interests like i've been kind of just chilling around reflecting a lot and that's great but <laughs> i kind of like wanted to just like come back to my roots in some form 
and I really I don't know how well this is gonna turn out I'm like a perfectionist and editing videos and making videos like I used to film so many videos that would never go up and I would film them and edit them and they would just never see the light of day because I just care so much about the content that I'm like giving you guys and I think like words hold so much power no matter like how small or large your audience. I've been in bed editing and I just realized I never really did an outro. Um, I was saying, I literally left off on like saying words matter no matter how small your audience and then I ended up playing with the llama. Look at this little man. You have to focus on him too. He's like basically the star of the show. I started doing my own lashes. I've just been like, I just can't not have lashes on or else I'll look like a 12 year old boy. I am convinced. Um, anyways, yeah, let me know if I should do a Q&A type video. Like, what have you been up to since you left? What kind of videos you guys would want? Yeah, just let me know. Leave comments down below. Add me on whatever platform you'd like. I'm really excited about this, so. Thank you for everyone who motivated me to get back into it. Thank you for everyone who motivated me when I first started it. And if you're new to this channel, then hi. I just realized I never said my name. My name is Maya and I am 20 years old. I'm from the Bay Area and I'm currently in college. That's pretty much a little fast facts about me. So I hope you bared with me through this video, but I look forward to like the future content I will be posting.